Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, the Detail Popo microfiber lineup. And uh, I'm just gonna do pretty much an overview and kind of go over each of their towels uh, that I preferred and I purchased and have been using for about a year now. And uh, I just wanted to highlight it because uh, I find that these towels are highly underrated. And the reason I say that is because I don't see them advertised anywhere else, but Carzilla.ca is where I do mainly my detailing shopping. But these towels are high quality premium towels and they're great quality, but you don't really see them anywhere. So I just wanted to uh, showcase them and uh, just for you guys to just get a better look at them. Now, all of these towels are high quality. They are all made in South Korea and they are all a 70-30 blend. And for those of you that don't know what that really means. That means it's kind of like the industry standard, which is a high quality microfiber towel. Now, microfiber towels are made out of two primary polymers, which is uh, polyester and polyamide. The polyester is kind of like the structure of the towel in terms of durability. And the polyamide is the absorption and the softness of the towel. Now, the most common ones out there are 80-20 blends, which is 80% uh, polyester, 20% polyamide. And then the 70-30 are considered more premium. So all of these towels that Detail Popo makes are all premium quality. Now, for those of you that want to understand GSM and microfiber towels a little bit in depth, I'll give you a little summary. So pretty much GSM means gram, grams per square meter. And that pretty much uh, translates to weight. So the higher the number, the heavier the towel is. Uh, hence, it would have more absorption. It will be a thicker towel. Uh, now, thicker doesn't always mean it's better. Uh, so each towel's GSM has its purpose for specific tasks. So just because you see a higher GSM doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better towel for you for certain tasks. So keep that in mind as we go down this lineup. The mint color is really what attracted me. So first and foremost, I want to start off by saying that I really like the minty color uh, of all these towels. I really enjoy the, the looks of them. And uh, the quality so far, they've been holding up great. So having said that, this is the 500 Edgeless Minty is what they call. And so it is a 16 by 16. The price of this is about $5 each. Uh, you also have options to get this as a 5-pack, a 10-pack, or even a 25 pack. Now, the one thing I have to say about these towels is when they arrived shipped, uh, they didn't come in any fancy boxing or anything like that. They came like it was uh, literally a, from a warehouse. They just came in a bag and uh, they had uh, a lot of linting and stuff, so they had to wash them right away. So they don't seem to have a really good presentation uh, in terms of their branding. These 500 towels could be used mainly for waterless washing, uh, rinseless washing, and if, even if you wanted to use it as a, uh, a wash media with your car soap or whatnot. So this is a thicker pile uh, of a towel. When you fold it in four, you see that it creates a really nice thickness for you not to add too much pressure while you're washing your car. So the 500 is ideal for these kind of purposes. Now, second in line here are the Minty Edgeless 350. So same concept as the 500 GSM. These are 350 GSM, which means it's a lighter towel. It's not as thick as the 500. However, it is the same shape. It is edgeless and again, really nice material, soft and overall a really nice looking towel and very uh, durable. Uh, I've been using these 350s a lot more than the 500s. And the 350s are actually more ideal for removing waxes or any type of paste or even polishes and compounds. So this is great for, for these purposes. Uh, each towel of this is about $5. Uh, but you can get them in a five pack, you can get them as a 10 pack and a 25 pack. Next is what they call the Dotty Minty Edgeless 350. So this is the exact same concept as the 350 Edgeless with the only difference that these have pockets designed kind of like a waffle weave. And I guess this is better for trapping any uh, contaminants or dirt from your surface. So it does have that advantage over the 
basic 350s. And so again, really high quality towel, 16 by 16, uh, about five bucks a towel again. So all these are very similar priced. And then you can get a five pack, 10 pack or 25 pack of these. So typically these are your delicate paint surface towels when you're performing those kind of tasks. Uh, and if you had to pick one, I'd rather have the dotty ones over the plain 350 because just because of those pockets, I find them very interesting. Um, in terms of uh, linting, these claim to be low linting towels. So I do see minor linting here and there, but that's normal. Most towels will do that. Okay, so next we have what they call the minty weave. And before I go into this, I want to show you guys uh, a cool feature that Detail Popo has consistently all throughout their um, microfiber lineup. You find this ingrated uh, Popo logo and all their towels. So as you see here, this is kind of nice. It's very unique. I don't really see that in other uh, companies doing this. So that's another cool feature too that I thought I'd point out. However, this is called the Minty Weave uh, Towel. And uh, this is a 320 GSM, very dense towel. It's a little bit thinner. It's not as thick or plush as the other ones, but it's a very dense towel and it's a pearl weave. And this here is zero lint. And it does not lint because I've tried it many times. So it is actually zero lint towel. And what this is meant for mainly is for ceramic coating removal or even, you know, spray sealant removal. This does great because it levels off because it's so dense and low nap. It has a good bite and it does level coatings really nice. So if you are someone that deals with coatings a lot or, you know, is dealing with uh, paint, uh, protection surface uh, removal. These are a must-have. Okay, so next on their lineup, this is, uh, this. I think they just added this about a year ago. So this is a newer uh, microfiber towel they added to their lineup. And it's called the Charcoal Blanket. And it is a 440 GSM towel. And what I found really interesting is that it's uh, it has a low nap on the one side, as you see here. It is a 16 by 16, uh, edgeless obviously 70 30 blend and it is it has a low nap with a nice little popo insignia here again and then when you flip it it has a really nice high pile on this end and this can be used for you know interior cleaning you can use this for exterior but i really enjoy these when i try them as a waterless wash because it just the, the plush side here um it gave me a lot of uh confidence when i was washing the the, the vehicle and the color again, I would have preferred to see it come out as a, in a minty color as well, but charcoal is, is a nice contrast, so I added it to the collection. Okay, next we're going to be talking about their drying towels. Now, they do have more drying towels on their lineup on their website, but uh, I just decided to pick uh, these two kinds here just to try them out. So starting off, this is, cons this is called their uh, Fusion Shower Towel. And this is a thousand GSM. So it's a pretty thick towel. It absorbs a lot of water and it's only a 16 by 16. So it's a, it's a smaller towel. So for a drying towel, you know, we're used to bigger sizes. Uh, they do have a, uh, a little bit bigger size. I think it's a 23 inch by 16. But if you were to buy this size, I highly suggest getting at least four or five of these because two will not uh, dry your whole vehicle. They get very saturated because of the size of them. And they do have a really nice design. They're, they're very similar to the uh, Gauntlet from the Rag Company. But I have to say that uh, I noticed that it lends a little bit too much for my liking uh, versus some other towels because I've tried many, many drying towels. So I wasn't too impressed with uh, the performance of these towels. Now, next here, they have another drying towel, which they call the Minty Rain. And uh, they also have a Heavy Rain and a Twisted Rain version of these, but they don't come in the minty color. They only come in a blue. But because I like the color, I tried this one. And again, it's a 16 by 16. This is a 1200 GSM. So again, very thick towel, very good quality towel, edgeless here, but they do have a seam inside here, as you see. But uh, this absorbs water quite well, however, Again, I noticed a lot of linting um, with this. If I had to choose between these two, um, I would have preferred uh, the Fusion Shower over the Minty Rain because I noticed a little bit less linting um, with this towel than this. And I do like the uh, twist loop better than, than the feeling of this. 
All right, so next is one of my favorite towels from their lineup. Uh, this is their uh, carbon blanket glass towel. And I have to say, this is zero lint, and by far, this is probably one of the best glass towels that I've tried. Uh, and again, I've tried a lot of glass towels. And this is a 380 GSM, but it's very nice and dense. It has, this is the only towel that has a seam on the end, but it's well constructed. There's no fraying issues, and I've been using this quite some time and they're still performing like brand new. So I have, they have a really nice silky texture to them um, and they are a 16 by 16. And again, a really nice logo here, as you see imprinted into the microfibers. Okay, so next here is their applicators. And so this is a suede and microfiber applicator with a nice minty color to match the theme. And what I like about these is that inside here, they have a plastic liner. So if you use this to, uh, like with a ceramic coating, the product is not going to go right in and get absorbed into the sponge. It's going to stay on the surface because the liner inside would not let the liquid uh, absorb into the sponge. So you won't be wasting product. And it does come in a, a wider size as well. But I've been trying these and they're very ergonomic. I have to say they, they're really nice uh, overall. So they're, they're worth checking out. Last but not least is their charcoal no frills is what they call. So all purpose towels. And again, these are 70-30 blend. And for a no frills towel, that is impressive because most of them are 80-20. So these come only in a charcoal color, which I prefer because I use these for mainly interior cleaning and I like them charcoal because they hide dirt. They have a very low lint. They do leave some lint behind, especially if you're going to be cleaning uh, mirrors or, you know, stuff like that, or maybe some infotainment systems. They do leave some lint behind, but I always follow up with a glass towel anyway around those areas. So it kind of solves that problem. Okay, and so last but not least, I just bought this just to uh, complement the collection of the color. This is their wheel brush. This is just a basic wheel brush. There's nothing special about it. It just bends. It's a bendable brush. Um, microfiber, this, you can remove it to wash it, of course. But this is just a basic mi microfiber uh, wheel brush. Um, nothing really special about it. Pretty universal. All right, so this will conclude the overview of the Detail Popo lineup. I definitely think you should check these out. Uh, they are great towels, like I said. They are all uh, premium towels. All of them are made in South Korea. They're all 70-30 blend, and uh, they are reasonably priced. And so they are a very underrated uh, brand, and uh, I'm surprised they're not out there as much as they, they should be. So having said that, I'm going to end the video here. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and uh, we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.